Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad. In this Design Tool Tuesday series video, I'm going to share with you another design tool. And it's a recent discovery and it's for user flows. It's specifically for, let's say, when you have a journey and you define some sort of mockups and you want to take your audience, maybe it's stakeholders, maybe it's your design team, bit by bit in order to showcase and convey the message of how the users would go through your new flow and your new functionality, let's say in your mobile app or desktop app. So you could just go and do it in Sketch or Figma or use anything like any graphical processing software. You could just assemble different touch points, link them together graphically and, and then call it a day. This app, however, does it for you. You don't have to fiddle around. You can just import the mockups link them together in hotspots, which are typical to, let's say, Envision, Sketch and so forth, you know, the simple prototyping and then showcasing. Let me actually show you what it does out of a bat. So I opened just a dummy as a mouse over all of those different touch points, allowing users to, let's say, then put in some sort of action point, assign it to, let's say, to other mockups or other artboards, basically, like that, let's say, boom, I just created. It also gives you an, a way to select what sort of style it is. You can also, you know, make your own new style. So maybe it's a click action, tap action, perhaps it's a secondary action, something which happens behind the scenes over time or something like that. You can also, let's say, add diamonds and things of that nature to indicate that there is a decision point making process here. There is a lot of different functionality here to explore and to play with. But let me show you the best bits. So imagine if I'm, you know, I'm a designer, I used it, I have this flag where this is where my design starts, my flow starts, I could just immediately either export it and then share a link, let's say with my team, or I could just preview and just do it off my dashboard to kind of like to share the screen and walk through, let's say, to stakeholders. If I'm pitching an idea to, let's say, some sort of people, I can just go ahead. And as you can see, everything is clickable right off a bat in the artboard. So I can just do that. And boom, it takes users bit by bit into a different journey. And that's how you could convince or sell different concept to your, let's say, stakeholders or whoever is a decision maker, and then just walking them from exactly what the users are going to see. So that's one use case how you could use it, you could also just play through like that, just use it almost like a you know, like an envision type of software, where you know exactly what what could happen here, I can then walk different stakeholders through it and say this is how your app would behave, let's say, and then I could use it to communicate with development team, product team, to kind of implement this handover things of that nature. So we know exactly what happens then. And of course, this is for flows at the moment. So it's not about, you know, animations, micro interactions, it's about conveying the message where you can actually define exactly how the things how the views are stitched together and what users see. So that's the basics. But let me show you exactly how you can actually start. And it's as simple as let's say importing it from sketch, I have this mock up set by Addy design co from sketch app sources, you can select which layers you want to stitch together. So let's say let's stitch those layers together these few, uh, they're quite random, I'm not sure if it's going to make sense. And then in a sketch, as you can see, I have the sync functionality, I just click the button, and then it takes me to a new artboard, let's say, and boom, I might just need to reach it. And as you can see, it gives you that flexibility to just drag things around and assemble it as best fit to modify, let's say different bits, I could also increase the things uh, adjust the styling if I have something custom and add other custom elements. So let's see the hotspot is the typical of what I'm added now. If let's say if there's something custom, I could just do that those few elements is one hotspot. So it's kind of like what Axure does as well. And it's pretty neat, or I could even start almost designing it. So I think that's where they're headed where you could actually design the things. But let's just preview it if I go there, let's say, and let me zoom in a bit. And if I let's say click on that, it takes me there. And if I click there, it takes me there. So there's a lot of stitching together, but you can immediately see how you could use it in your let's say work and convincing different people. So and so some of us are definitely going to have a set, let's say of, you know, I have, let's say a design system for flow. So using sketch and figma, well, this might replace because it's all automated, and it looks great as well. So maybe it's like that additional step up, you're going to include when let's say convincing your stakeholders, 
or selling it to the project team, con communicating with engineering. Instead of using just, let's say, sketch built-in or Figma built-in functionality, you can actually take it a step further and make that, you know, communication bit, articulation bit of a design much more interactive and then send it to people to actually, you know, add, let's say, requirements or do whatever we do in, let's say, agile workflow to implement this functionality or sell the vision to higher ups. And so give it a go. You can find this app at overflow.io. As per usual, hope it's useful. If so, give a like, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more material. I'll see you next time.